be a, a map or option for you to show your location. Yeah, right there. to a show earlier today man she's like buck 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 like kicking i'm hoping that it's not a fuel pump issue i'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on with the gto you know we did a video everything that's wrong with it i have all the parts i need over there that the scanner came up with which is o2 upstream uh mass airflow sensor and a throttle positioning sensor now the throttle positioning sensor could also be the reason why when the throttle gets stuck at like 1800 or 2000 it won't let me shift into gear i gotta literally turn the car off push in the clutch put it in first restart it holding the clutch to be able to get down the road some people are going to tell me it's the clutch with the clutch it looks like it was fairly new around the same time that they serviced the transmission and put the short throw shifter in now i've been in contact with the previous owner and there's another story with this car for people that are saying why are you dumping money into this car this car now we're gonna see if it's legitimate or not comes with a certificate of authenticity somebody that a lot of you youngsters may not know may have owned this car and you're gonna have to wait I'll talk about it at the end of the video who is the very first owner of this car I'm just surprised it wasn't purple. There's your hint. Seems to be running all right. Does, right here. It just doesn't like running cold. Uh -huh. That's ironic. Did you say there was an ashtray? Yeah. The car looks like an ashtray. There's a radio. Aftermarket? Yeah. I wonder if it still works. No, we cut all the wiring under the hood. Is, this, is it melted? Oh, yeah. Wow. You're taking for a spin. Ha, ha, ha. Here, I'll Oh shit, watch those wires. Woo! Oh, there's a wheel chalk under it. Oh shit. Which side is it? This side. <laughs> Alright, let's see The actions performed by Auto Auction Rebuild should not be produced at oh, home. Never. Never, oh, never, never, never try this at home. <laughs> you know the people going by got to be like, what the fuck? That's what I love about it. Just the fact that the clutch and shit works is hilarious. Oh, you know what it is? I'm heavier than Austin. <laughs> <laughs> that tire is going to be smoking like a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. 
That was price. That was priceless. Oh shit! That's sharp. Oh. All right. Let's squeeze out. Oh. Yeah, we gotta do something about them wires. Actually. Gotta run them under the seat or something. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect them. Yep. I'm gonna put the factory pump back up. Up top. Run the uh, run the line yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Uh, if I don't get pulled over going down the street here. You got a car coming up fast yeah. over here, but it should be alright. Yeah, like they're, like they're yeah. Oh man. This thing's too much fucking fun, bro. It's too much fun. Damn it, man. What? And then we can say, damn it, man. <laughs> uh, it really is, dude. Dude, she lit him up. They smoking still? Wow. <laughs> well, I can smell something smoking. I don't think it's the tires. I bet it's the tires. It's not too hot. I bet today we're like, hell no. We was out outside the store today and this old piece of shit Dude, lit the tires up. That's what I love about it is nobody expects it. No. You see this car, you're probably like, damn, man, that thing doesn't even run. That old clunker ain't going to do you shit. you get out there and you just light wow. it up and you hear that exhaust take off and it's like, oh, the chicks too? Man. I want Jess to see that. Uh-oh. All right, guys. So now we're going to get into the GTO. We're going to put it up on the lift and we're going to replace all this shit. And hopefully when we're done she'll run correctly let's see dun, 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 dun. check engine lights back that's why we're doing what we're doing all right time to get this thing into the shop She a bitch. <clears throat> oh, I can tell you right now. E brakes on and it's in gear. Trying trying to lift this mug, put this bitch on the trailer is gonna be just like the challenger. A bitch, man. Trying to feather that clutch when you're trying to put it up on a ramp. No. Hell no. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, we can do whatever you think is easiest, whatever you want to do. All right. That's right here. I don't forgot where it was. Yep. That right there, right? Boop. Yeah. Well, with the uh, awesome help of, or the common sense of Randy over here from uh, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Oh, look at this thing that was real close to the fucking uh, Yeah, I think that's a bracket belt. that's supposed to mount that, to it. That, yeah. Yeah, it's That'd supposed be. to mount to it, but it's... Uh, I will cut that off. Um, intake looks good. No oil. It's positive. And the mass airflow sensor didn't look bad, but, but 
Eh, we'll put, throw the new one on it and see if it will uh, run better. I mean, it can't run any worse. No, before you do that, you got to pull that power steering reservoir off. Which one's that? That, that reservoir right there, the top. This one here? Yep, by the, valve, by the uh, engine cover. Oh, you mean talking about to take this off? Yeah, this whole piece, because your TPMS is buried behind it. Ooh. So that and the brackets got to come off to get to it. All right. You sure you got a TPMS code? Yep. I mean, uh... Throttle positioning GPS sensor? Code. I'm thinking of tires, yeah. Yeah, throttle okay. positioning sensor, yeah. Really? I don't think... I can't squeeze in there and just take it off? You got to get a screwdriver in there. Right. Like a... Oh, yeah. Well, that fucking sucks. Good news is I think this just slides off. Take the cover off. All right. Pops out. Well, the good thing with that is it just pulls off. And then this, I think you just pry this little piece here back. Oh, shit. That's easy enough. Move that out and hopefully you can get a Phillips through there to it, right? Yeah, yeah, you can get to that. Right, it's, a, a it's, a, like a, it's, it's one a of those torques. Torques fucking things. Maybe that's where GM got it from, is the fucking Australians. Yeah. You know, they bought up the Australian companies, and then, you know, GM started dick riding Holden. And that's why we got Torx bits in all the damn GM cars now. Oh. <sighs> Just off, off center, right? Just enough. Well, let me see if I got a. Uh... That bracket is right here, right? Which is a fucking. That's a big one. That's a big. Uh... From there. Two? Yep. I see one. Oh, is it on the other side? Yep. I'm going bet it's an 18. Fuck you. 16. 16. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Hopefully this one is not as much as a bear as the last one, because this is lots of nice busting knuckle activity. Oh yeah. If I had a bigger ratchet, it'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'll come loose though. Ooh. Mm -mm. Is it starting to strip? Uh-uh. What? Yeah. <clears throat> nope. All right. Let me um, 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 think of some other way of doing this here. Use that, but be aware that the socket will fall right off of it, so you gotta really keep it on there. This extends, give you leverage. Pull okay. That, pull that down. Uh, pull it. Pull this down? Yep. Okay. There you go. Ha ha! That's it, pussy, you're done. 
And this is going to turn no matter what, right? Uh, no, push that in so it doesn't. There you go. Now it won't turn anymore. Nice. All right. Beverage. Oh, I tap it on there a little bit. It's not all the way on. Is it on there now? Yeah, let's close. Let's see. Guess I'm gonna have to go this way with it. There it goes. That's a wrap. Of course, it's hot as a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. That grease is hot. Don't get it on your hands. <laughs> Here's how not to work on a car with TK. There you go. Well, you just drove this thing, what, 60, 70 miles all at one shot? Yep. Yeah, she's Oh, and she, I was ripping on it, too. She's hot. <laughs> she's hot. Did you see the Holden behind me? No. There was a, a SS. No, I didn't see it. And he it. was flashing the lights and shit at uh, me and was waving at me. That's why I had my hand out the window when we were turning. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see it. Yeah. God damn. This is like having your hand in some pussy, and you know you ain't supposed to have it in the pussy, man. <laughs> Oh, fuck that. No! Oh, man. I don't know where that shit went. That's going to be on the ground somewhere. I hope so. Yeah, I heard it. Did it's it on, go through? It's, it's on the ground. Oh, shit. We can, probably, we can get to it like this, man. We can get, we're still going to need that, but we can get to it like this. But I'm hoping that didn't fall in the engine compartment. Ah, fuck it, I'll just suck it up. Come here, bitch. Stop burning me. Cock sucker. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, she warm. Woo! Now, where's that screwdriver? Right here. No, the torch. Oh. Uh... Brought it back over it's here. Because right yeah. you're trying to get to this bad boy right there. The top Look how loose. easy it is to get to this once the shit's not in the way. Oh, yeah. Once you take this, the power steering reservoir out of the way, it's right there. There we go. And when you tighten them down, don't tighten them too tight. They're known to snap. Uh, and you snap one, it's... It's all wood. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a problem. I like being a cameraman. This <laughs> way, way easier. Yeah. Way easier. I could do this. Maybe I could hire somebody to do all the work, and I just follow them around just with a camera. Around the camera. Yeah, and then put it on my channel. Bro, just get, you just gotta get you a check that's fresh out of OU, with the appropriate uh, uh, knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bitch. All right. Yeah. So, oh, so that turns and that makes, okay. Yep. Sure does. It doesn't look bad, though. Well, You can't tell by looking at them. Yeah. It's the circuitry on the inside that breaks. Garbage. Ooh. I'd hold on to it, though. You never know. Yeah? You never know. I don't know if the other one came with screws, so we'll find out here in a second. Probably not. No? I've never had them come with screws. If they did, it's real nice, though. Let's see. Oh, balls. Looks the same and it did not come with screws. Look at that. Alright. And it's the same plug and play, right? Yep. You just gotta figure out where the flat spot is and get it lined up. Right there. And then you'll probably have to turn it just a hair to get the screw holes to line up. Like that? Yeah. You just put the screws back in it. Uh okay. There she goes. Yep. Alright. Don't over torque them. Nope. I'm just gonna hand, you know, I don't know how tight I should. A little bit more than like hand right tight. There. Yeah. Isn't that AC nice? Man, 
You mm -hmm. just sit here working on cars with the cold air blowing right on your back. Look at that. What is that? Where'd that come from? Come around the block. I don't know what that is, dude. It's right here. Pretend you didn't see it. Maybe grease? Yeah, it's right here at top, up top. I saw it on the block. I was like, what the fuck is that? Oh, you got a freeze plug leaking, dude. Ooh. Yeah. That's a uh, Dex cool leaking out of a freeze plug on the front of the head. So this thing has a head gasket issue? No, it's just a freeze plug leaking. So just to replace the plug or is that be like the block could be fucked? No, I know. I don't, I don't think it's going to give you any problems with the block. I'd keep my eyes on that though. Either it's corroded or that plug is starting to come out. Either way that, that will have to be addressed. I mean, luckily it's not too bad of a spot. I'm going to clean it off just so I can see if it continues to... The right thing to do is just throw some stop leak in it and pretend you never saw it. Okay. That's the that's the appropriate the pro GM Professional fix. way? Yeah. If you took it to GM, that's what they do, then they charge you for a freeze plug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. It just keeps turning. Oh, don't tell me it's stripped. Might be. That's tight. But that one won't, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, she's just seating. All right, I'm not going to over-tighten yeah. that, because another turn and it might... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It looks good. Yep. All right. Now you just start putting everything back together. All right, yay! It's not too bad. Nah. Fuck that. And, they, and GM charges motherfuckers three hundred dollars for this job. This is fucking retarded. Yeah. All right. Get out of my way. They're making their money. <laughs> you ain't lying about that. What the fuck? Sure. Was the wire over this? Okay, it moves anyway. Get out of my way. I didn't know if it ran under or over or what. I can't remember. I don't know either. You look back on video and figure it out. Yep. Or you could just not care. No, I don't give a fuck. As long as it doesn't hit the belt and there ain't in the fucking way, I don't care. Alright, there's that. Done. Um, it's right there under the towel. Yeah, that's the fun one. This is like trying to like slide it in on a chick. Woo, it's hot. <laughs> Woo! Gotta finesse it. Come on, bitch. Stop burning me. Now it's got to get that fucking, uh... Yeah, ratchet. good luck. I don't think it fell through. I think it's stuck under the, uh... Oh! The engine oh, man. I'll tell you what. I can't see it from here. Let me, let me grab one of the other phones and get the flashlight. I bet you it's down in the fucking... Fucking engine compartment. See it there. I'm pretty sure it fell through. Yeah. But uh well I guess when we lift it up, we'll yeah. see it. Yeah, right? yeah, we can just use another uh another 16 to finish that off. You got another 16? Yeah. It's not as uh not as, long. Not as deep, That's but fine. there's that and you might be able to make that fit. And I'm guessing this goes into the block, so I don't want to over tighten this either, right? I don't need that yet. Yeah, you want that tight, but uh, yeah, you don't you don't want to.
just remember how hard that first one was to get out. Yep. That's about what you want it to be when you tighten it down. Yeah, that will fall out. Yep. What's it missing, the nipple or something? Yeah. Had that for like six years. That's a Walmart ratchet. <laughs> hey, man, as long as that it works. That sucker has been a lifesaver in many situations. Swivel head, extendable handle for leverage. Slides on this little bracket. Boop. Yep. There we go. Then, uh, oh, easy enough. I guess they go around the back. I think these went under. Did they? Yeah, <laughs> they did. Oh, shit. It's all right. You know. Oh. Here, hold this. Let me see if I can finesse. Finesse the wires? Finesse them in there without. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's a plastic line. You don't want to do that. Come on. She's a little warm, isn't she? She's fucking Ooh. hot. That's Ooh. what I said. I was like, God damn, it's been off for a minute. Fuck. Come on. You too. Ow. Don't burn yourself. Jeez. So they come through? Oh, I see it's coming out of the fucking, um, what you call it? Whatever that plastic shit is. Oh, yeah, it sure is. Sweet. And then when anybody says, oh, I don't work on shit on this video. Let me direct you to this video. All right. All right. They vacuum seal the shit? Yeah, because so people used to uh, bring them back. And say they it was bad. They bring the old ones back and say that there was something wrong with it. So now, now they just cut it open. And then if it's open, they're like, "Fuck you, it was open." Yeah. Now here's the one thing I've always got wrong with these. This is not my first one I've done. Oh, it says which way? Oh, what yeah. the hell? It'll tell you the flow. There's a cap. Oh, so, that's good to you know. know. So the flow. But the arrow means the air coming in, right? Yep. Yeah, so this will go in this direction. Right that way. And if, if it doesn't ever say that, which it should, the, the screen, screen always, always goes on front. Because okay. this is the filter that protects that shit. those tiny little resistors in there. From. Yeah, cool. It will always go with the screen forwards. All right. Well, let's pull. Let's put this on here first. Mm -hmm. Well... Shit. Man, it looks nice with a brand new, uh, brand new sensor in it. I didn't think that sensor looked bad, but after looking at the new one, it looks like, it looks like shit. Right. Just make sure it's nice and tight. Come on. Put your bitch ass up here with your bracket. You don't want these over tightened, right? Just no, they don't have to be exceptionally uh, tight. You just want them tight enough you're not going to get any air leaking past them. Okay. I was just trying to figure out how tight, like, we wrap Catholic nuns pussy tight or fuck it. Oh, damn. What? I'm going to 
that spider bite on my hand I just had. Both hands. Because dirt going into the thing is what fucks it up, right? Yeah. We got a light going on. Oh, that, that half the LED's red. Oh, is it? Yeah, those aren't cheap. Oh, well, you know, I can't really complain too much. That one fell from that shop. From in the Del shop City. in Dell City? 10. You know? <laughs> Yeah, Tim's like, here, I'll take it down, and they dropped it, and it fell, I don't know, 15 feet. God damn. So the fact that it worked this long is pretty phenomenal. I guess I'll be replacing it soon. I know. Boy, that burnt my eyes, man. Yeah, when you look at it, it's bright. Jeez. It's fucking bright, bro. White shit is. Typhoon intake systems, huh? That's this, right? That is... Should be hanging. It's going to be down there somewhere. I see it. I don't know where I can reach it. Okay, this That's is the map. mass. Alright. The other one is... I can see it down there. It's dangling right there. I see that little thing. Oh, right there. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> this is what I... Oh, because I wasn't right. fucking paying attention. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, and then this one just plugs in. Yeah, make sure you plug in the right way and be very ginger with it. Yeah, I don't want to break the plug. So I have to buy another end and cut it and splice it, probably. No. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, there's that. This is like Lego. This is the easy. 10 bucks an hour. Hire you for 10 bucks an hour. Oh. Whew. Alright. Shit, man. You make quick work of that. Well, that's just YouTube editing. <laughs> right. <yeah. laughs> that's YouTube editing. Yeah. But nope. New mass airflow sensors in. Throttle positioning sensors in. We'll hope that works. And, uh,. What's like, oh, just the O2 sensor. O2, one O2 sensor, which that's easy to get to. Yep. So that's not a big deal, man. Woohoo! They clear the cut. I sure hope it solves your problems. You need to do one of those, uh, <laughs> driving at 500 miles. Let's see if it makes it. <laughs> I bet it will. I bet if I drive this to Kansas City and back, people will be like, oh, yeah, I want it. I know, I know it runs. <laughs> Not sponsored by Budweiser, but my DMs is open. Yeah. Oh, if a beer company was like lifetime supply of beer, we just need you to talk about it in every video. I'd be like, oh, okay. same deal. You need this Corona? Oh, you're fucked. Oh, that's a. <laughs> you know what? I might just need. Yeah, that can hurt you. Oh, you leaking something down there? I don't know. Oh, air conditioner. Check your clutch fluid. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, man, we also need to check this trans fluid. You need to check the trans level because if that's low, that's yeah. definitely good. I got trans fluid you put in. Cool. Well, the clutch fluid is just brake fluid, right? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. There's only, every car I've had has used brake fluid except for one Audi has some special fucking fluid for the clutch. Which is probably brake fluid, they just call it something else. Yeah. I can see where I scrape the... <laughs> where I keep scraping it. Wow, my rear diff looks like shit. She was looking like that before. You're going to have to keep an eye on that fluid. So she's leaking Ooh. probably, right? Oh, yeah. Looks like it's leaking from, uh, from maybe this axles? axle. See, there's grease above it, too. There's grease over here. So that's the bad axle, right? Oh, which yeah. One, which one was the one it's that was split right here, dude? Look at it. Oh, shit. She split. Well, that sucks. Yeah, look up here. It's been spewing. Okay, so the rear diff fluid is coming through the axle? I think it may be leaking out of this cover, too. Somebody's been in here. It's got silicon all around it. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's not empty. <laughs> well, I think this is the check plug, but I don't think I have any gear oil here. This one does not look split. No, but that one looks like it's been coming apart. Oh, fuck. Well, that might be my power issue when I'm feeling that little jolt as I'm going. I don't think that's it. That, mm -hmm. I think, had to do with what we just replaced. I think that'll be gone, though. I need to clean this bitch up and see if she keeps leaking. Yeah, that's air conditioning. Somehow it's... Oh, yeah, it comes right off the transmission. Ain't that a bitch. And this transmission's not stock. It's not? Nope. Look right there. It's an RPM transmission. It's a remanufactured unit. RPM. So... So an RPM transmission means it's a aftermarket reman. Yeah. I'm oh, you can see the short throw. Well, I think what I'm more concerned about.
The joint to the drive shaft? No, it's all right. It's all right, I guess. That's all right. Well, that's good to know. That means the trans can't be that old. Um, you wouldn't think so, but it sure is... Uh... It looks like oh, shit. Well, when I went in for the oil change, they said that the drain plug... Oh, you know what else? It wasn't tight. Leaking power steering. It could be power steering fluid blowing on it while you're driving. So here's the fill plug. Yeah. And that, when you take it off, there should be just a little bit dribbling out of it. If not, then it's low. I don't know where the drain plug is on this. I do not. Um, normally, it's just below the fill plug, but I don't see it. Oh, yeah. right here. There is a drain okay. plug. So we can take that off real easy. All right. And we need See to double it. check what kind of fluid it takes. As long as it's a, some sort of automatic trans fluid, I got plenty of that. I wonder if, well, automatic trans work in manual, yeah. right? Yep. Uh, as long as that's what it calls for. Some of them require deer oil, but this is probably ATF. This is your sensor in question right here. Okay. This is the one. That's the bad one? Yeah. And it's no easy, shit. Easy Look at to. how fucking coated yeah. it is and shit. Ah, oh, balls. Yeah. Right. Wait, it's not my car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's at the auction for a reason. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I'm going to wipe some of this shit off so I can see if it's actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's got a. You know what? There's a bunch of silicon back here between the plates, but there's no fluid coming from that. Well, maybe leaking from, uh, Just from the maybe axle. Leaking from the axle. So, that split right there don't look good. All right. give us a little bit of a better idea if it is leaking where it's leaking from so we'll see we shall see god this shit is less caked the fuck on dude I like the way they hung this though. That's interesting. Huh. Oh boy. Oh. I don't see that socket neither. Yeah, it's in the, like I said, I bet you it's in, in there. I bet you it's in the engine compartment still. Gotta remember to uh, find that shit. Yeah. No. Yeah, she's full. Trans fluid looks black, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. She's due for service, for sure. Wow. Oh, well, after some quick storage issues, Randy saw how shitty the fluid looked and decided, nah, we're just going to change it. So we're uh, filling it with, uh, I know someone's going to complain in the comments, this is not the same. It's, but Mercon 5 Dex is, Merc is, Dex Merc is the same. All the same. Does she have a fill on the top? Yeah. Fill on the top, drain on the bottom. And when it starts pouring out of the top, it's full. So it probably takes, what, six quarts? Nah, I bet it don't take more than three or four. But if it takes six, I got six, so...
leaking a little bit out of my So for the people that don't know at home, if they have some Merc, can they still change their transmission fluid yep. with it? Well, it's one of those things like which oil is better, Benzo oil, or right. craft, like right. people are going to argue with you, but I can tell you from experience, doesn't matter, I've never had a problem with it. It's but like, I tell everybody like, do what you're comfortable with, right? If you're not right. comfortable with using it, then you go and use something else and whatever makes your little... Let me guess it's shot. Look at that shit. Can't tell. Unfortunately, you can't. It's black. Can't tell by just looking at them. Oh! She's black. She's been running real, real rich. Oh, I, th I thought I had it over here on the table. Well, that looks way better, dude. Yeah. The design even looks better. Yeah. It's even got the anti seize already on it. Ready to go. So to keep it from blocking up, blocking up too, yeah. Well, we got a transmission flush, not a flush, a fluid, a drain and fill, yeah, right? A drain and fill. But there's no filters or anything on this one, so I mean, it's it's full of fresh fluid. I'd like to check that rear axle, but you might I got be no gear off. fluid. Yeah, I don't have yeah. any gear oil, and there's no part stores here, so. I'll check. I'll just take it Firestone and yeah, take it Firestone. Tell them just do a, a drain and fill for ninety nine bucks. Yeah. At least then you'll know it's full. Then they're going to be like, you know that rear axle split. Hey, I'll tell you what, make me a deal and you can replace it for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right. Got a fresh O2 sensor. That used to clip somewhere. Yeah, I don't I'm know where. Sure where. But she used to, uh, I guess that'll work. She used to clip somewhere. Oh, maybe right here in this hole where they have maybe, yeah, wires yeah. zip tied. Wow, because this one is where, yeah, they zip tied this one up. Look at this, they zip tied it okay, up. Okay, well, so yeah, I wonder if we can just shove this in there, you know, like with that, maybe or, or just. Yep, look at that. <laughs> it's genius. Uh, now we gotta just clear the codes, man. Double double penetration. Done. I still want to check the uh, slave cylinder. Yes. Make sure it's full. Plus, I gotta get that socket wherever what the fuck it fell. Is it? it is. Yeah, we gotta go this. Make sure this whole thing drops at the same time. Right. Looks good in the front. Oh, did it get stuck? Yeah. All right. Uh, I know. I remember it was this right here. All right, hold on. All right, guys. Now that all the codes are cleared and everything is back together, you don't think that socket might have fell on anything that could shoot it? I'll stand back just in case. <laughs> all right. We're going to go ahead and fire her up and make sure she's out of gear. And here we go. Sound better? Not blowing black smoke out the exhaust anymore. Nope. Feels smooth. Yeah, that's what I'm for. Like it feels, it does. You know how it was really stiff? Yeah. It feels really smooth now. All right. I'm going to, uh, open the All right. All right. We're gonna turn that off for now. Look at that. No check codes. No nothing. She looks good. Ooh, I was in gear. My bad. 
sure I'm out of gear. I'm not going to edit that out. That was an oopsie on my part. I'm going to roll back on him. Got to use reverse. Get out of here. Oh. And we're going to see. <laughs> he did not. He's driving the fucking burned out car to the store. We're going to see how she runs real quick. And if she runs better. Um, after all of these sensor changes. And I have a feeling that she's going to. New trans fluid. She looks good. She looks damn good. Now, I just took her out only doing the speed limit, of course. And I have to tell you, e-brake is on, everything is set. This thing runs like a raped ape. This thing is not playing. It runs like a champ now. Beast mode. Oh, it's a whole different car. I thought it was fast before. I thought it was fast before. It's way faster now. <laughs> Break on a little bit. She hit, she's driving way better, man. Way fucking better. That's all I can say about that. She's way better. There goes a little pit. What's up, buddy? What's up, dude? This dog doesn't come up to anybody. Hi. What's up? What's up? You gonna come be nice? Come on. Look at this. Yeah. Look at you. Mad skittish. I don't know what it is, man. Animals love me. I can't. I can't explain it. <sighs> So I am super excited uh, because this is basically mechanically sound now. I mean, yes, I need to replace that axle. Yes, I am going to get a rear end service. But I am, today's repairs were $240.97. So $241. The exhaust was $150. What's that? $390 in repairs. Um... What else did we replace? Uh, oil change was a hundred. So what's that? A little bit over 500 bucks in repairs and maintenance so far. Shout out to Randy for looking out for me because you know he did the, the transmission uh, fluid change. That would have been a couple hundred bucks. So that was free that was awesome. Um, mass airflow sensor. Save my save me on the labor uh, throttle positioning sensor. Save me on the labor. Real simple. Uh, what else? What else? What else? We you know lots of work, man. We got a lot of stuff done today, and I am excited that we got it done. I'm so 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 happy that I got this car to the point where I'm gonna drive it to Kansas. We're gonna drive it like 500 miles. We're gonna see how she runs. Yes, I know I need to do the strut. Yes, I know I'm probably gonna eat up these tires, but I'm gonna put a fresh set of Goodyear Eagle um you know tires on it whatever the highest rated speed rated tires I could get for this thing are from Goodyear I'm probably going to put on here or maybe Firestone you know Firestone is a sponsor as well um I think I just gave something away I got a, I, uh, I guess I could talk about it I got another sponsorship uh opportunity from Goodyear um and if I take it it just means I won't be if I take it, it means I can't do my Firestone stuff anymore. 
So I reached back out to my Firestone people and we'll see, you know, if they match the same deal that I'm getting with Goodyear, then, um, you know, I'll stay with, I'll stay with Firestone because they've been really good to me. But if not, I got to make, you know, I got to do what's best for the channel. But anywho, uh, with that said, you can see I'm already packed. Look at my bags. I got my gear back there. I got my other bag with the clothes in it. And we're about to roll to Kansas, man, in this. Now, I saw that axle is kind of cracked. I'm going to have to be easy with her. But uh, I think tomorrow I'll go by Firestone or whatever and see if they can do the rear diff service for me. And um, see if she holds the fluid and make sure the rear diff is good. And that's pretty much it. But there it is, guys. I wanted to do a video showing you guys all of the repairs and stuff as we do them. I'm going to continue to do that. You guys saw me tear the front of this car apart the other day and take care of the crash bar and other stuff with it. I've, I have ordered a front bumper and headlights and a new crash bar, and I'm going to start getting to work on the PDR, and um, I guess I'm going to replace this windshield. But it, when I, like I said, there's a lot of stuff to do. I still got to sew this up, which I'm going to do. I'm going to get some leather kit and put that together, sew that thing up before it gets bad, and just, you know, just a little maintenance, stuff that this car really needs. And when it's all said and done, I'll go back and I'll see my dude over at Lucky's Wheels and Deals. And I will get a uh, a sound system put in here because I have to have it. Even if I'm going to sell it, I want this car to be perfect for somebody. If it's not going to stay with me. Right now, I think I'm falling in love with this car. Which, that could be bad news for the Green Monster. And I know my Mopar people do not want to hear that. But, it's got a hold it on me. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. I'm stopped being corny. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to go check out tksgarage.com if you want to help me fix this car. You can buy some merch, and I dump the money into, you know, projects and stuff now. So um, have that. Uh, if you want to buy cars like this from different auctions, you can go to copart.com forward slash TK's Garage. Go tap in over there. I don't have a link with IAA yet, so it is what it is. But, um, yeah, man. Let me know what you guys think. In the, that's so annoying, that split seat. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you're enjoying this build, if you're enjoying seeing me actually get my hands dirty, which I do work on cars. People say I don't, but I've worked on many on this channel. Um, I just, I prioritize my time. Meaning like if there's something I can have a shop do while I'm doing something else, that's how I do it. Like the Bill Elliott edition. I'm not doing that. I'm letting a shop do it. With uh, that said... Thank you guys very much for watching. A major shout out to Randy at Auto Auction Rebuilds. Thank you so much, bro, for all your help. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel. Go follow his TikTok. Can y'all help me blow his TikTok up, please? Blow that TikTok up. Go follow his Instagram and go tap in on his YouTube. I would appreciate it. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. Lots of more content coming on this car here in the near future. Copart walkarounds coming up this week. And I want something else. Stay tuned.